Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guy. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see, I've got a review here of the Art and Fly color pencils. Uh, I've just done a review of their marker range as well. So if you want to have a look at that, uh, there will be links down below in the description. You can go across and take a look at the, the review for the markers. Uh, I did do some artwork with these pencils, but it was actually the, the pencils and the markers combined. So I used the markers to, to fill in the majority of the colour and then came in with the, the pencils uh, for the details. So if you want to see that speed drawn as well, you can do. Uh, again, links will be down below uh, as well as a, a full written review of the pencils. But the with the speed drawn, you'll get to see how well the, the pencils performed on top of the marker. And one of the, th one of the things that I always say that... Um, the, the, cert, the, the paper that you're using is, is, is vital. It's incredibly important when it comes to colour pencils. And uh, well, when it comes to anything, actually. And um, I've all, I always say that, for me personally, I think the mark of a, a good pencil is a pencil that works well on a really, really smooth textured paper. And obviously, I had to use a smooth textured paper. I used the, the, the Strathmore 400 series, Bristol Smooth. Uh, for the drawing that I did um, because of the markers and so to see that the pencils went down on that really well and the layered well and the coverage was nice and smooth uh, was, a, was a bonus. So as you can see here I mean like, I do have a few points about these pencils um, they're not really criticisms they're more to do with the fact that because I enjoyed them I would like to see more of them. The only set that's available is a 48 set. So they don't have like a 12, 24, a 36 or anything like that. Um, the 48 is the smallest and the biggest set that they have. So in that in that regard, I would like to see perhaps maybe uh, more variety uh, in this pencil. I definitely would love to see like a, a 60 set or something like that because... I did enjoy using these. They were really, really nice, um, and so to have a range of sixty would be would be nice as well. I don't think you would need to necessarily go up to one hundred and twenty or anything like that, but a sixty set or seventy two set would be really nice. Uh, as you can see here on the um, on the title, it says that the the pencils are oil based. I'll get into that in a second later on. Now, when I was speak the. the the, the lady that I spoke to from Art and Fly told me not to worry too much about the packaging, which makes me think that um, they're in the process of changing their packaging, which I would definitely say is a good thing because with this being so thin, this packaging, trying to get the pencils, trying to get 48 pencils back into the packaging, getting them out is not a problem, but trying to get them back into the packaging is a serious issue. Um, I know that most colour pencil artists, when you, when you get your pencils, you'll take them out and you'll put them either into a pencil case or uh, a drawer or so, some, some other storage, uh, in which case, just disregard what I said about the packaging, but there are a lot of colour pencil artists that like to keep their pencils in the packaging. A lot of um, pencil artists like the, the tin format so that they can leave the tin at the side of them when they're drawn and lift the pencils out as and when they need it. You're not going to be able to do that with these. Um, as I said, it says here that they are an oil-based pencil. Now, with, with all the testing and research and I've done with regards to this topic of oil and wax-based pencils, I personally don't like using this term because the lines are so blared when it comes to there's no such thing as a, a pure wax based pencil and there's no such thing as a pure oil based pencil. A lot of pencils have a lot of different ingredients in them, uh, most of which are top secret because the companies, the, the companies obviously don't want competitors knowing what's inside the core of their pencils. Uh, so that being said, I think a lot of people as well, when they when they hear that a pencil is an oil-based pencil, they automatically think that it's going to be a hard core because the likes of the Faber-Castell Polychromos and the um, 
the, the Karen Dash Pablos, the, those types of oil based pencils, and the uh, Lyra Rembrandt. They think that um, an oil based pencil equals uh, a hardcore, but that's not the case with these pencils. This particular set of pencils, the core is really, really soft and creamy. And if you didn't have this on the box, I, I'm guessing that the vast majority of people would automatically think that they are a wax based pencil. But I will get more into this this issue of wax and oil base. I'm going to do a, um, like a video on that later on down the line, and I will put together the different reasons why I don't like um, categorizing pencils in that in that way. So before I get into the actual test and you know showing you a couple of bits of the the pencils, this is the um, the swatch that I've done. So you can see here that this is the full 48 colours. Um, you've got kind of two flesh tones here. And I had to use, the reason why I used the pencils was because when I was doing the markers, I didn't really have any flesh tones in it and I needed to use, I needed to get some sort of flesh tone. Um, a nice selection of reds, vermilions, that type of thing. Nice purples. A nice selection of blues and greens. Earth tones as well. And... Uh, a few greys. It'd be nice to have maybe a lighter grey in there as well, but um, I think maybe the the only thing that this set is lacking is is lighter tones, like a lighter shade of red, um, lighter purples or pinks, uh, and a lighter blue, like a, a real pale blue or something like that. But all in all, uh, I was really pleased with the colours that I did have in this selection. So let's move this to the side. So when I got the pencils, I tested them on lots of different paper. Uh, I tested them on uh, Bristol Vellum, Bristol Smooth, uh, some black paper, uh, some of Strathmore's Tone Tan and Tone Grey. Th they worked well on all those papers. I also tested them on uh, one of the adult colouring books that my wife has. Uh, th they worked incredibly well in the, uh, the, the colouring book that I used. So what I'm going to do here is... Obviously, like I said, uh, I have this speed drawn um, that you can go across and take a look. It fully demonstrates the pencils, perhaps in a better light. But um, I'll just do a, a quick test here, uh, showing you the the, uh, the the outcome of the pencils. But before I get on with that, uh, this is the actual pencil here. So as you can see here, the barrel is kind of like a, a burgundy color, really nice burgundy color. Uh, there's not very much information on the barrel. It's only just the Art and Fly logo, and then there is a number here up at the top. I'm not 100% sure how they uh, categorize their, their color chart because the, the color chart that they have is online. There's no pigment name on the pencils, but as I've said before in the past, I, I personally, when I get a set of pencils, I do my own color swatch and if I'm going to work with the pencils I use the color swatch to make sure I'm using the right color that I want. Um, I don't always think that relying on the pigment name is the best way to go because different companies have different names for certain colors. Uh, as you can see here on the top of the pencil as well uh, is a three quarter inch uh, indicating, indicator of what the, the pencil pigment is. Uh, and that's really about it. So it's very limited information on the pencils. And just one last thing before I do get started on this little test. Um, they do say on their website that the um, the pencils have great light fast results on most colours. Now I personally couldn't find anything to... Um, anything on individual pencils in terms of the light fast rate and, and I'm not 100% sure either what system what they used whether it was the ASTM or whether it was the Blue Wool system so you take into that what you will about the, the great light fast results on most colours so anyway let's get on with this so I'm just going to do uh, a little bit of blending so I'm going to use this this yellow uh, let me zoom in here a bit for you So I'll use this this yellow. 
because when I was doing the 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 artwork, um, I found that they blended incredibly well, and it says that on the package. But when pencils say something on the package, it doesn't always necessarily mean that they do. But in this case, I found that these pencils blended very very well using just the pencils as the blending tool or using odorless mineral spirits. I used odorless mineral spirits uh, just to test them out and uh, it works really really well with odorless mineral spirits. It, it blends really nicely and as you can see here uh, I'm getting a, a, a nice green with these two colours starting to press down a little bit heavier now just to get the, the colour coming up obviously if you're mixing colours and stuff like that you wouldn't do that you wouldn't mix the colours as quickly as I'm doing you would add a lot more layers and build the colour up that way but obviously just for the sake of this this video I've got to do things a little bit quicker so there you can see there that there's a, a nice shade of green so it's it's going in and out of focus so um, and the next colours that I'm going to use is this red and yellow and uh, try and get a, a nice orange with it. All in all, but when I was using these pencils, um, I really did enjoy using them. Uh, I mean, like, as much as I enjoyed using them, it, it's important that it's important to understand that when when I do reviews of pencils and I say it because I I've had people say to me you know nearly every single review you do you say that you enjoy the pencils or that they're good or something like that uh, you have very few videos where you say you don't like the pencils and the reason why that is is because when I'm when I'm testing the pencils or and you know reviewing them I'm not I'm not comparing these in my head to say like aluminance or anything like that because that wouldn't be right it's their price range doesn't put them anywhere near that that category I'm comparing these to to pencils in this in a similar price range and I'm also taking into consideration that these pencils they're not artist grade pencils so they're not the type of pencils that you would do a commission with or like do a really nice piece with that is going to be going up in a gallery somewhere these pencils are for colorists people that are just starting out with color pencil art that, that just want to get uh, a cheap set of pencils but that is still going to be able to deliver nice artwork so you can see there that, it, that it's It's created this nice orange colour. And that's from obviously just mixing the two pencils together. I'm not using any odorless mineral spirits. Um, with regards to the sharpening of the pencils as well, they sharpen really well. I have no I I didn't have any problems with sharpening. Um, the, the sharpeners that I predominantly use is this little M and R. Um, brass sharpener it, the, the blades are really sharp and I always replace the blades quite regularly actually and then two uh, hand crank pencil sharpeners as well and like I said I had no issues with them whatsoever um, all in all I've been really really pleased with the outcome of the pencils and like I say I know that a lot of Colour pencil artists will say that they need more information on the barrel, that type of thing. But when when you take into consideration people that colorists and um, people that are just starting out doing artwork, they're not going to need high light fast pencils. Pencils that are um, highly light fast have all the ratings and that type of thing. The pigment name. Um, with all the testing I've done, I've heard a lot of debate with regards to whether the pigment na pigment name should be on the barrel or not. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that if, if it's there, it's a bonus. But I think we get bogged down too much with the pigment names. Um, and the, the reason I say that is because I've 
tested and reviewed now over 121 different pencils and all of those pencils use different names for different colours with the exception of like the you know the cobalt blue that type of thing but there's a lot of colours in those um, sets that you would swear blind is exactly the same as another set but it's just a different name so I think we can get bogged down too much in the pigment name personally I believe that when you get a set of pencils that you need to make your own colour swatch on the same type of paper that you're going to be doing artwork on and then it's going to give you a good indication of the pigment that you're going to need when you need it you have your colour swatch out and you select the pencils according to the colour that you can visually see that you're going to need as opposed to just you know the pigment name so another test that I do is on black paper and these pencils work quite well on black paper they were a little I was a little bit disappointed with the white pencil because with the colours that I'd used um, sorry this this will go black once I get some colour down there and the camera focuses in so I've got a yellow here I'll also have a, a still image of this over on the written review if you want to go across and take a proper look at it um, but the colours are quite, um, they're not very opaque, there's a, a level of opacity to them, which is, is good for if you're the type of colour pencil artist that likes to build up lots and lots of layers, that type of thing. Um, but like I said, these pencils are, are the core of them is, is really quite soft. Uh, it's not too soft where the point is going to go down really quick, it's but, but you can feel it in your hand that they're soft and creamy. So I was expecting the white to be quite, you know, quite opaque. But it, it, it really wasn't. Um, so that's because I pressed too hard down on it. So I'm pressing really, really hard down here to, to try and get the best out of this white pencil that I can. But as you can see there, let me just zoom in a little bit for you. So as you can see there, the white is really quite, there's quite an opacity level to it. Uh, the, the blue and yellow is quite opaque, or sorry, the blue and red is quite opaque and the yellows, uh, you can see the translucency within the yellow. But all in all, the colours, the, the vast majority of the colours show up really well on this black paper and they also show up really well on the tone tan and uh, tone grey paper as well. So for things like the price and, and availability as I say I don't always mention the pricing on these videos so you'll have to go across to the Art Gear Guide written review and I'll give you the pricing. There will also be links. Um, they are available on Amazon. This is a US based company, so they are available in the UK. Their pencils are anyway, but their, their markers aren't. I think they're in the process of trying to get their markers um, to be sold in the UK, but that hasn't happened yet. But their pencils are available on Amazon UK. Uh, they're available on um, Amazon Europe as well in Germany and places like that and they're also available in the US obviously like I say I'll have links for the, the pencils if you want to get a set and try them out for yourself and I'll also have links um, over on the written review as well anyway guys that's it for this review um, I have some fantastic pencils coming up uh, very very soon so stay tuned uh, some of some pencils that I know a lot of viewers uh, have been looking forward to. So stay tuned and uh, you'll see those reviews coming up very soon. And uh, thanks very much for all your support, guys. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, if you want, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, uh, Instagram. Links again, links for that will be down below in the description or over on the Art Gear Guide if you go across and have a look at any of the other stuff that's going on over there, like my, my artwork and um, that type of thing. Also, um, just one last thing before I go, I have a little survey going over on the Art Gear Guide. Um, I'll have a link for it down below. If you have time, if it's, it's only 10 questions. Um, you don't have to leave your, your name or any details about you personally. 
uh, all you do is click on the link, it'll take you to this uh, survey, and the survey is really just asking questions about your favorite art products, that type of thing, and it's just to give me a better insight um, as to the, the best type of reviews to do that's going to uh, please the audience a little bit better, so it helps me pinpoint uh, the, the best reviews that I can do for you, uh, and that's only the, that's the aim really of the survey, it's not anything else, it's not like trying to uh, get your details to spam you or anything like that, like I say, your details, you don't give your details uh, to start the survey. Anyway guys, thanks very much, look forward to seeing you all again in the next review, thanks, bye.